What's going on you guys? I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. I am pulling around to the back side of my shop. I gotta get the truck loaded up to the trailer because today's a big day for Mitchell's Lawn Care. Y'all stay tuned. you guys so I'm here in the shop got to get the the trailer hooked up here so I keep my enclosed trailer in my uh, steel building out here uh, for you that are new to the channel this is a 50 by 60 renegade steel building got some construction going on behind me um, I revealed kind of this uh, project in an earlier video I believe the one right before this one so check that out if you want to so just got to get the trailer hooked up which doesn't take but a few minutes, as long as I can focus. Let me put this down and anyways. So, today's a big day for me, for the channel, for the business. But, I am headed to STI Turf Care in Colfax to pick up a new piece of equipment that is expected. They just got done putting it together for me. But I know you like get on with the program, but I want to make sure I got this done right. I uh, have been wanting to change some things up in the fleet for quite some time. Anybody that follows me along on Instagram may have caught wind of that but I've been using pretty much exclusively um, right mower since 2018 uh, with a little mixture of an X mark 30 inch walk behind push mower if you want to call it that but I uh, wanted to change it up some this season I'm selling my ZXT 72 because I don't need the I don't need the 72 inch deck anymore because I got rid of my largest property. So um, I have partnered up with a new company for the year. So hoping to bring you some good content uh, with this mower um, and something else that I also need to share with you, uh, which will come in a later video. But anyways, the goal for today, get the trailer out of here, get up to STI Turf Care, see my buddy Chris Keith, who's the manager there and pick up this new mower so let's get in the truck and head on down the road it is a beautiful day here in Colfax a little overcast but beautiful day we got some rain coming in tonight and it's supposed to rain I guess Wednesday Thursday and Friday this week not good for mowing but good for growing all right you guys so I'm headed to STI and I wanted to just kind of give a backstory of just the equipment I've had and since I started but uh, real quickly, uh, I started out with a Craftsman push mower that my granddaddy gave me. Um, and then I got a Craftsman, and this is, you know, no years, nothing like this. This is just a lineup of equipment from start to finish. So uh, I had a Craftsman riding mower, 42 inch deck, used that for the first, uh, you know, year or so. And then uh, I purchased my first commercial piece of equipment. It was a Hustler Trim Star walk behind. Um, very versatile mower. Uh, I love walk behind mowers um, for many different reasons. Um, had that mower the longest and then a year or two later uh, whenever the first gen um, Hustler X1s came out I bought a Hustler X1 54 inch deck um, CTR. So I had the Hustler Trimstar and the Hustler X1 for many years. Uh, fast forward to 2018 the hustlers were starting to get a little bit of age on them you know getting some hours on them um, and uh, they were running good no problems but I was jumping into full-time uh, lawn care work at the time hiring a crew and I just wanted the peace of mind of having something you know newer with a warranty things like that um, my sunglasses are messed up um, but anyways so started looking at mowers 
and was looking at you know ZTR stand-ons walk behinds all that you know I didn't know what I wanted to do so uh, went and demoed a few things and narrowed it down to the Skag V-Ride at the time well, there was no V-Ride to the Skag V-Ride or the uh, Wright Stander X so you know, those that follow me along know that I went the the right manufacturing route and in 2018 I bought stu two Stander X uh, two Stander X's uh, with the 48 inch deck for our fleet and I sidelined the X1 and the trim star and they pretty much became the the backup mowers um, I did keep the trim star on the trailer at the time I've got a 20 foot enclosed so I had the trim star and the two Stander X 48's on the trailer and my crew of two to three at the time used all the mowers um, throughout the week. Uh, there was several places where the trim star came in handy on more sloped areas where you know you didn't want to be standing on or sitting on the mower. Um, fast forward, I sold the X1 to a buddy locally. I uh, ended up selling the trim star, so I sold both of my original uh, commercial mowers and. Um, Ended up selling one of my standard X's to get a larger mower, the ZK61, which I still have. And uh, at some point in there in the last few years, uh, I added the X Mark 30 commercial push mower, walk behind, uh, if you will. Um, I actually was blessed enough to win that in a raffle um, uh, at a local dealership here in, uh, in High Point, North Carolina. Um, but fast forwarding, properties changed. Um, you know, I, I cut back to doing solo from full time, and um, oh, and I did add the ZK72 in there. Uh, probably my favorite mower out of all time, um, the dually that I had. So uh, regretfully, I sold that. Wish I never would have sold it. You know, we all have those uh, moments in our life where you know don't really think things out. You think right here, right now. Uh, but anyways, sold the ZK72 to make room for the ZXT, the brand new ZXT72, and I've thoroughly enjoyed that mower. Um, nothing bad to say about it. I, I don't know that I loved it as much as I love the ZK72, um, but all around the ZXT is a bulletproof mower. Uh, it's a hulse, and it is it's built to just sit on and mow all day long, all week long. Um, but going into 2022, I changed my properties up again, and I don't need the 72 inch deck anymore. So I'm parting ways with the ZXT, which will basically leave me with the ZK61 and the X Mark 30. That's all I've got. Um, and that is an uneasy feeling. I don't like not having like a backup mower or a backup plan. So this is gonna catapult me in today this new partnership here on the channel and you guys will find out shortly what's going on and the direction that I've gone this year I am by no means parting ways with right manufacturing uh, I love that whole crew up there uh, Ed Judith um, Jillian everybody in the office the manufacturing facility at right has been awesome um, and will continue to use their mowers and support that brand I uh, stand behind them 150%, always have, uh, of course, since 2018, and that is not going to change. So uh, I consider many of them uh, friends of mine. So, um, but just wanted to change things up here. For one, you know, for the business uh, in the fleet um, and uh, here on the, the channel and social media platforms, you know, for, for content for you guys, just to know that, you know, there's other things out there. And a lot of guys that follow me don't live near right dealers okay so me showing right mowers and using right mowers and and um, you know marketing them etc whatever doesn't help them so I, I like to have some diversity here on the channel to where um, you know you can see me using other things and get my honest feedback about it so here in a couple minutes I'm gonna pull up to STI we're gonna to talk to my buddy Chris um, and give him some camera time, which I know he's gonna love. And we will show you guys what we're bringing him. Speaking of Chris, there he is right now. Anyways, this is STI. They are the local Skag, Toro, and Wright dealer. Um, also X Mark. But anyways, this is where I have come. This is the back, obviously. But this is where I've come to uh, purchase my Wright mowers. 
and I've got some uh, steel and echo equipment from them too but anyways let's get inside so real quick this is the service side of STI bunch of mowers that they're working on got a little dingo 323 and then check out this wall of attachments for dingoes this is CID company construction implements depot but anyways they have got tons and tons of implements buckets grapples let's see we got some augers good lord y'all need your attachments for the dingo they got them in stock all right you guys so i'm here at sti like i said and my man chris keith is here and i'm gonna give him a few minutes to tell you who he is and what we've got going on right here so you ready yeah so tell us a little bit about yourself chris keith uh worked for sti turf care equipment for 15 years now um been the branch manager here at a Colfax location for the last six years and transitioning into outside sales for our company. Looking forward to that, uh, the new challenges. And um, we got the ProLine HDX walk behind here. So check this out, guys. So as I was telling you, I partnered up with Toro this year and Chris has been uh, implement uh, as, what's the word I'm looking at? Uh, has been uh, my go-to guru here at STI for the last few years. He's got me set up uh, with the right mowers and uh, keeping them going. And if I have any kind of maintenance issues or things like that, Chris and his guys uh, keep us keep us mowing. Uh, but Chris, just take a few minutes and tell everybody what we got right here. So we got a 54 inch uh, HDX Tor Toro ProLine walk behind. Um, <clears throat> some neat features about this machine is you don't have individual height to cut adjustments. You've got one lever like a zero turn. You can set your height to cut right here and pull back on your lever. And let it right down against the cut versus moving four pins like a X Mark or some of the other brands on the market. And That's very set easy. It back in transport. Very easy. Uh, you've got the FX Kawasaki engine, which is our top of the line Kawasaki, heavy duty air cleaner. A lot of other walk behinds on the market utilize a FS Kawasaki with a standard air cleaner. This is more, more durable in the long run. It also has heavier transmissions up underneath it, hide your gear. You've got spin on filters on the transmission so you can actually service and extend your transmission life. Tell us a little bit about the controls because these are these look a little bit different than what I saw on my trim star yep. and what I've seen, you know, like the, the pistol grip. So tell us a little bit about the yep. controls. So your, your twin lever controls is much like a zero turn or grandstand. Uh, all your steering is going to be right up here like everybody's pretty much used to. No pistol grips to get hand fatigue. So it's a lot better for the operator in the long run. You do have a reference bar here that you can move three settings to slow your speed so that you're not kind of hovering out in space. So if you want to go full transport back to your trailer, you can go wide open, or you can put it in the middle for more of your mowing application so you're not going to go too fast. Um, Do we know what size gas tank this thing has? I believe it is a five gallon. Five. That's pretty standard for, for walk behinds. Yeah. And then, uh, what's hanging on the back? Got a uh, sulky. This is Toro's branded. <clears throat> Got a little transport latch right there so you don't have any chains hanging down that you got to clip up a little lever that's easy to access you've got a pin here that locks your sulky in place for transport and this thing will swing around and then you got a little spot here this is magnetic so you won't lose it it just sits right there in the holder you got grease fittings on the wheels you can grease them and you can pull a pin here to detach it from the walk behind all together And real quick, one last question. Like, what would be a reason that a guy would want this over, say, uh, a sit-down ZTR or a stand-on mower? What, what's like, a, what's a common feature that guys love with these walk-behinds? Because I know a lot of big companies, this is all they buy. You got a little bit better hillside uh, stability on a walk-behind, uh, less weight on a turf. Uh, it's not having to track a yard up as bad versus a big heavy zero turn. Um, maybe a little less space, man more maneuverability on a trailer. You can put this sideways on the trailer to gain a little bit more space uh, than a Z. Um, walk behinds have their place in the market still, so we sell a lot of them. 
And what about price point on the Proline HDX roughly? Because I know there's different price, different deck sizes, but just a general ballpark average price. Oh, we may have to edit that come back to it. Put you on the spot. <laughs> so well, are we talking, uh, we're, we're good, we can keep flowing. Are we talking like the 7,000 range, 8,000 range, 9,000 range, somewhere right around there, just throw a dart. I'm going to say more probably to seven to eight. With the way the prices are changing, it is hard to keep up, to be gotcha. honest. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, guys, we appreciate Chris's time, and I'm excited to, to take this mower and put it to use. Uh, I'm going to feature here a lot more on the channel as the season progresses. That's pretty much going to be it for today. Chris, thank you for your time. No problem. Um, if you guys are in the Colfax, High Point, Greensboro, just the Piedmont Triad area, come check out STI. They've got a um, an A team for uh, crew here. Service is great. Customer service is great. So, like always, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next video.